a good roadhouse. Hearty, humble food and heartfelt hospitality. What more could you want? It's even better when it's run by a seasoned restaurateur. And that's what you get at the High Hopes Roadhouse in Bilpin. Sean, I love the vibe here. It's so warm, it's so homely and cosy. It's got a really good atmosphere and the food is so hearty as well. Oh, that's nice to feel. Thank you. I suppose it stems from, you know, wanting that sort of place myself, you know? Yeah. You're quite known for Sean's in Bondi, which is quite famous and very, very popular. Very different though, right? Yeah, I suppose that's the coastal sort of version, whereas up here's a bit more rural and, you know, using a lot of other local suppliers. Sean sources produce mostly from his farm, but also locally. You know, apple growers, other fruit growers, vegetable growers, you know, flower growers, all that stuff. Tell us a little bit about this dish. Classic cauliflower cheese, but basically with roasted cauliflower. It's got a bechamel sauce with the pasta and the feta from Willow Bay goat's curd feta. And it feels like a cosy blanket. Mmm, that is delicious. Oh, thank you. Mm. So much flavour. Okay, Sean, you have won me over here. I am a massive steak fan. I've got to say I'm a bit of a steak critic as oh, well. Oh, okay. Simple roadhouse fare. It's pan-fried steak, local Angus grass-fed sirloin, egg from our farm, cavalinero from our farm, and potato cake, a bit of Irish heritage there. <laughs> oh. I've got to talk with my mouthful. This is amazing. Oh, thank you. That's... Don't mind if I do. Straightforward. Carry on. <laughs> <laughs> There's dishes with produce fresh from the garden, like the greenest of green pea and speck soup, plus divine desserts, like this chocolate mousse cake. Just out back, there's a sweet shop with all your childhood faves. Oh, like a kid in the candy store. From the food to the atmosphere, there's so much to love about High Hopes. We're in Apple Country and I found another fantastic local just down the road that turns apples into delicious cider. Bilpin Cider Company is also run by Sean a different one. What a magnificent spot and we're so lucky to see the apple trees in blossom. It's looking like a terrific crop. We've got lots of bees pollinating the blossom. Mm. We'll be looking forward to some uh, great crop of Granny Smiths and Pink Lady Apples. And that's one of the unique sides of Bilpin Cider, isn't it? That you're actually using freshly crushed apples, not a concentrate. That's exactly right. At Bilpin Cider Company, you can wander the orchards, feed the resident animals, and best of all, you can taste the delicious selection of fresh ciders. Well, we've got 10 varieties in our range, so we offer our visitors the opportunity to do a tasting paddle. We suggest that they drink from the drier style through to the sweeter style and non-alcoholic, and that's how our products ah. here are arranged. Well, what do you I, think I should start I'm with? I'm going to give you uh, the one that we made here called Bilpin Archibald which is our cloudy style. That road out there, Bell's Line of Road, was named after Archibald Bell, who founded this region in 1823. And we Ooh, made a cider nice. in his name. Oh, you've done him proud. There are so many great ciders to try and take home too, not to mention some seriously good picnic platters. Some people like fine dining and champagne, but give me a roadhouse and cider any day. Ugh. <sighs>